So my journey with additive with, with 3D printing started with a small Ultimaker 3 and actually that taught me a lot about the uh, potential of, of the technology really and actually led us eventually down a road of yes printing lots of our own parts from a prototype perspective but actually down into the much more sophisticated world of, of, of SLS and actually laser powder bed printing to produce actually most of what you can see behind me are actually entirely 3D printed and it's just brilliant to see not only is it an amazing way of prototyping and iterating design concepts but actually has now matured into small scale production capability as well. The ability to turn a CAD design into something tangible and testable within a matter of hours or at most a day or so uh, has been absolutely critical to our progress. I, I couldn't imagine that we would have to like injection mold something where maybe the mold costs 10, 50, 20 thousand pounds or so and then find that we want to tweak the design slightly. I mean, that just would not work for us. And actually in the old days, we used to build, you know, bolt and rivet bits of aluminium together to produce the test structures. And it was immensely slow. And when you're then doing another iteration, you have to almost start again. Whereas now we just tweak the CAD model and print again. Yeah, so we've got uh, the Ultimaker S5 here. Um, and it's it's one of the, or if not the, the workhorse of the, the lab for making um, the first version of whatever parts we might be designing. So that could be a, a new mount or a new jig for, for manufacturing something. Um, and we know that we can depend on the, the Ultimaker and we, could, we know how to print with it really, really well. 3D printing fits in really well with uh, a company like Gravity because we're, we're rapidly making changes to all of our, our designs and, and different um, uh, iterating over those designs super quick means that 3D printing is one of the only options for that sort of thing. Um, obviously, there's a lot of components on the, the jet suits that aren't 3D printed at the moment, um, but we use 3D printing to, to integrate all of those parts together in a, a really novel product in a, in a new way. Um, and then we'll either strengthen that with, with other metal supports um, or try and figure out how we can, um, over time, consolidate multiple parts down into a single 3D printed parts. Thank you.